What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. I'm Isaiah. Today, we're going to be playing some County Road Z. My team has reached campaign turn 12. We are now, we've our food situation is pretty stabilized. So we're going out into town to try to find us a ride. We'll see if we can't scrape up a new whip. So if you haven't, hit that like, subscribe, or notification button. Consider doing that for me, and it really does help us fight back the zombie apocalypse over here at World of Wargaming. And, and let's get into this game of County Road Z from Earthbound Games. What's up, everybody? We back out here in the country about to kill us some zombies. So, we are out here. We're outside the police station and the police impound lot where there are a couple of things. We got a Miata back there, old beat up three quarter ton, or no, that's a deuce and a half cop car, and this pickup truck and this van that got wrecked over here in the trees. All of these, all four of these vehicles, rolled as tier two vehicles the truck rolled as a tier one vehicle i am am coming over here in over here on this edge over here and i have some scout stuff to do before that so i'm going to move some of these zombies around because this is kind of i think what i want to go for here so i'm gonna i've got a scout score of four on declan so I'm going to move that stuff back. I'm going to move these three back and yeah, I'm just going to move these three back and go from there. Maybe I'll move. There's one in a building so I can push him out maybe. I messed up. I put two in that building. There is one in the police station. But I put two in there. There was only supposed to be one. So that second one that was in there should have been out here. Which means I'm going to move all four of these zombies back that way. My turn proper. Where I'm going to start with Ash. Who's going to take a shot at this zombie standing on top of that dumpster. Oh yeah. That mega hit. So that's a dead zombie. And this zombie is not in range he's not in the noise range of the weapon so ash is going to move up with his second action declan is going to move up take the shot oh yeah dead zombie tabitha is going to move about this way tabitha will move move to get base to base with that resource token we'll go to zombies it's the first phase this is gonna get real nasty real quick i think because right now the zombie that is the furthest away from me is this guy right here so that little guy is gonna go aggressive and next turn he's gonna make a big horde so i might have to be pretty quick here try to be in and out get this vehicle moving rolling another going. zombie has spawned or woken up inside the police station right in front of this window right here Bringing us back to me, where I'm going to move Ash down to here and scavenge. Scavenge score of four now that I forgot I had. I will make four resource tokens. So Declan will then move around, pick up one of them. That's one for Declan. Uh, Tabitha. I mean, I gotta, let me get up in this alley. She's going to move around, pick one up, and we will go to Zombies, Zombie Zoo, Zombie Zoo, um, where this zombie will move to the closest zombie, which is him, and then activate all the zombies for three inches, which I think is just going to be this cluster right That's here. That's a horde now. And as you can see, this is probably going to escalate very quickly. Okay. Let's spawn a new zombie. Where are you going to land? 
You're gonna land at 24 and 15. Okay. Um, hey, 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 what do I do? Ash is gonna move and inspect, scavenge the resources in the dumpster right over there in the way of everything. Back to me. Tabitha's gonna double pick up. Declan's gonna move and pick one of them up. Even like it may, this may get out of hand, you know, depending on how this goes, this could very easily come to a point where it's just like, you know what guys, we're just gonna take what we can get. We'll come back later or we'll try another spot in town. Like I don't, this, this, this is gonna get ugly fast. So zombie phase, let me get a dice for doing the things. So they can't see me anybody. So they're just gonna move in a random D10. They're gonna move three inches back up that way, which for now is pretty much perfect. This guy was just outside of three before, so they're gonna come to right there. And then as a horde, they will activate zombies within one inch. So that zombie will be added to the horde but not that one. Fresh zombie comes in right there on top of the oil barrels. Will come to me. I'm gonna go with Tabitha. Who's gonna move to there and then pick up. She can hold one more thing. We'll go to Declan who can hold one more thing. He will pick up and then move. Oh wait, never mind, never mind. He can't hold that. I was mistaken. Ash can hold, however, can hold one more thing in his inventory, so he'll take one. And then Declan's, Declan's just gonna move and maybe shoot. Let me. Declan, just... although he was not able to pick anything up, didn't really have the movement to get to a good position to get a clean shot. Ash, however, does. So Declan moves up behind the corner, and Ash moves up into a firing position from this corner, aiming downrange at this zombie. Get it! Oh yeah, dead zombie. And I'm outside of my noise range, so none of the other zombies will activate. Mr. Zombie stuff, so we'll see what that group... We'll see. we'll see what that group of zombies does. They're gonna move six inches downfield. Landing right there, bringing these two friends into the fold, waking them up from their passive slumber. Next zombie will come in at 24 and 12. Coming in right here and mucking up everything I wanted to do. So Ash is gonna need to take a step back and then he's gonna fire at this zombie. Okay, taking the shot. Three. Plus my long arms is plenty enough to kill that zombie who was passive and has a defense of four. Now, next, Declan is gonna peel around this corner and come out and pop this zombie right here that just spawned. So he peels around the outside of the building right here, lining up the shot right there. Six, plus my, uh, yep. Yeah. Perfect shot, well done, Declan. Last up for me, Tabitha, who has one more thing she can carry. We'll pick up this last piece right here and then proceed to move this way. Ending right here behind the trees. All right, so the horde, gonna move that way. Point, all, all of those friends become horde related and we'll spawn a fresh zombie. Uh, Six and 28, so that's gonna be way back I'll here. I'll be falling in right inside that arch, almost inside the courtyard, right there, of the police station. So this is troublesome in a lot of ways. Um, let me look at some things. I have a plan here. So Declan has a good shot on this passive zombie. He's gonna take it. Oh yeah, okay. That helps a lot for a couple of reasons because that zombie was in was in 
sound range of the truck for when I go to try to fix it. And it wasn't yet part of the horde. Because I still have a chance, because I'm about to move over here, and I, I still have a chance that the horde could, fl could drift back away from me for a turn or two. And let me fire this truck up and just get the heck out of Dodge. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, though. Everybody moving out of cover and around. Trying to keep some distance between myself and the horde so that they get a really good roll when they come right for me. I st I'm, they're not going to come right into me, is the hope. <laughs> is the hope. But everybody, um, he shot, killed, moved. Ash and Tabitha double moved. Let's see what the horde does. Come on, work with me. Okay, they're gonna float to the east. Yeah, they're gonna float to the east, so I can, I can live so that. that. Fresh zombie will spawn right here and just immediately link up with the horde, bringing it back to me. So Ash, gonna move up to the truck and do the tinker check it's a two, tier two vehicle and i have a tinker of three so i'm plus three to the roll i need an eight start oh god okay didn't start yet that's okay i'm pretty sure i can try again you know what i mean everybody's gonna gonna give it a go why not oh see tabitha way to go tabitha all-star you were sick you were hurt you came back look at you making the truck work thank you Tier two vehicle it's got plenty of inventory slots for me to get in put all my stuff in right in it's got an inherent noise of tier level plus five so it has noise seven but that's okay because i plan on just tooling out of here i still have two activations left so tabitha's going to get in the truck And Declan is going to move and get in the truck as well. Um, and we'll see what the zombie does, and I hope this goes well. Seven this way. Horde moves here. Fresh zombie spawns here. Comes back to me. Truck is running, so it makes noise, which means these guys will be make a move toward me. But it's six. They got six inches, so they're not going to get into me. Back which is awesome. for a second i did that incorrectly um it's they have the the innate noise on the turn that they are deployed check during the first beginning of turn phase so that i don't think that would apply here if i'm wrong let me know uh, so that base that's that's the way i'm understanding it now so ash is going to jump in the truck and then tabitha is going to drive us away and that's going to do it for this mission. We've managed to track down a truck. Now, because I don't have an auto body shop at the base, every time I take it on a mission, it will break down as soon as I get there, which I mean, it is a Chevy. So what do you expect? You know, it's, that's what you get. Uh, unfortunately, there weren't any, there weren't, there weren't anything else to describe. I guess I could have took the cop car. It was like a Taurus. Uh, but anyways, that's going to get us out of here today. We're going to do a little bit of post-game, get this cleaned up, and get on to back on back, on back to the home to the base. Okay. Eight resource tokens. All right, that's a pretty decent roll. We're going to get three food, three fuel, one hardware, and a roll on the rare equipment chart because apparently there was something in this trait on the rare equipment chart and getting a smoke grenade. Now, this is really, really cool. It says that... As an action, I can pick a spot within 12 inches, and zombies within six inches of that spot will not activate for any reason. So, like if I were in a bad situation where a horde was very close to me, I could just be like, poof, ninja, vanish. That's really cool. Now, it says that it can be used once per mission and takes up an inventory slot. I'm not sure if that means that like it, you just get another one or if it's a one-time use item. Uh, so if you know and can clarify that for me, help us out. And that's going to be my equipment. I don't have anything that I was doing to the base this turn. So no project team. Mission team is again going to be Ash, Declan, Tabitha. No rot. I do have to feed people. So I'm going to be spending some things here. I'm going to spend two fuel 
to make a food, which puts me to five fuel and seven food. I'm going to burn two fuel from my store, taking me to three fuel in storage and make it bank in extra food basically. So everybody's going to eat and I'm going to have one food in I storage. I have no unrest because everybody ate and everybody had a bed to sleep in. My storage sits at two hardware, one food and three fuel. I do need to check the hoard. So I would have to roll a 10 here, I believe, for something bad to happen. Two. So we're good. No, no siege is going to happen. I'm not going to have any departures. We're a pretty happy group of people at the moment. So that's going to take us into our next time together being campaign turn 13. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, but I will figure that out by the time we get back together. Until we do, know that I'm grateful that you showed up to hang out and play some games with me today. And that I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel go over there check out the link in the description check out the patreon there's a lot of cool stuff over there including access to our discord server talk to me hang out with me talk about our work what we got going on in the hobby um some shout outs all kinds of cool stuff check it out if that's something that you think you would be into and regardless of whether or not you do that i want you to know that i am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.